Hello everyone, Justin here and today we are going to be drawing a red-eyed tree frog so let's just start by starting with this uh, head here let's look at the basic body shape we've got the nose up here the head, the back going all the way to the tail and then it's basically going to be a almond shape with this curve going back to the nose like that alright so Right going down the middle will be a branch, so let's just go ahead and mark that now. And we'll make it kind of thicker, like so. So now we've got the mouth right here, and it's going to go up. It almost looks like he's going to be smiling. And we've got the eye. Well, we're going to see one eye. It'll be his left eye. And of course, the eye kind of sticks away from the head. So we'll give it a nice bump right there and the nose comes out like that so from here from this line we'll actually go up to his elbow and now we can start putting the left front arm and give it some thickness here and right here the wrist is going to separate into a few fingers so let's go ahead and add a couple fingers here that uh, go out into like a ball at the tip this lets him uh, be able to grip surfaces uh, very easily and we'll bend this back a little bit and continue on with the back leg here now so here's the the back and the leg the rear legs will be coming off this part here so let's just go ahead and draw like a V here separating the left and the right leg and give the leg some thickness now the belly will be right here and the leg the back leg comes out to the tip here round it off a little bit and then it'll come up um, narrowing a little bit tapering a little bit and then so you, we've got the leg coming up and then back the toes, well, there's one toe and we'll add another toe like up here and another one up here just kinda sort of indicate that now let's look at the right arm the right arm is gonna come out from be behind the b chest and the belly right here so the arm comes out here we'll give it somewhat the same thickness as this arm here and then the, the fingers will then be wrapping more or less around this branch so first we've got the one finger here and we'll make it kind of like an oval shape because it like I said they get bulbous at the end so then we've got another finger and make it bulbous again and narrow narrows down and thickens again as it gets closer to the wrist area and we'll add another finger here so then let's work on this uh, right leg so it comes out and here's the knee and then it comes back and we'll give this some thickness right now and then it comes forward again okay so let's bring that forward so this right here that we drew is this part of the leg so again this is gonna come up a little bit here and we can't we can't really see the toes there but we can we'll, we will be able to see say the toes here and it's coming out and we've got the branch don't forget we'll just continue that and then we can add another toe coming out over here Alright, so that's our basic uh, shape, uh, proportions, and I could probably make the eye just a little bit bigger, so I'll do that now. And the nose would be, the nostril would be right here. So now we can go ahead and start adding some detail. So for all of these uh, edges and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make them a little bit darker and a little bit clearer so let's draw the 
pupil and make this dark and give it a highlight and color the eyeball a little bit continuing that white uh, highlight and I'll just make this a little bit darker here at the bottom just to give it some curvature make it look like it's round or it has a curved surface and give it a little dark tint here on this edge of the eye like that and clarify the lower eyelid here and add a little bit of shading behind the eye all right so let me go ahead and outline this a little bit clearer okay so let's go back to the nose so this is just as we drew it earlier and now we can go ahead and separate the upper lip from the lower lip so let's just draw a line that's not perfectly curved up curves upward a little bit and then curves up, down and then we can draw the lower lip just a parallel line right underneath that initial mouth line okay and there will be a hint of the ear right here so I'll just uh, add a little uh, shade right there to show that that's where the ear is and just continue on adding some shading uh, make this more three-dimensional as opposed to just a black and white uh, line drawing so let's go ahead and work on underneath the head here and onto the chest so this whole area is going to be in shadow so I'm just going to go ahead and start shading this in and I'll just do a sketchy shade here it'll be kind of dark underneath that lower lip and we can um, work on our shading more in a little bit so let's uh, make the hand and the wrist a little bit clearer here and these uh, fingers the hand are pretty colorful and so they'll be kind of a lighter shade with this pencil drawing and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the arm the fingers a lighter tone maybe a little bit of shading right here but then right underneath this arm will be kind of dark so let me just add some shading now some darker tones some darker values as well we're gonna have um, some stripes on this uh, particular frog so this part right here will be lighter and the background then will be a darker green so I'm just kind of showing that but of course it's still in shadow so I'm gonna um, darken that darker than the fingers and we will make the branch itself a darker value also so the lights coming from the left so I'm gonna just make the whole right side of the branch dark maybe darkest at the far right and I'm just gonna leave the right edge just a little bit uh, lighter and create a gradient from the dark to the left side of the branch to a lighter tone lighter value and I'm just using variation pressure to achieve that so here light pressure and then as I get to the right of the branch more pressure and I'm just gonna continue that shading all the way down 
again dark tones here heavy pressure and lightening up as I go to the left and I'll just go ahead and do the rest of this branch now leaving the right edge just a little bit lighter and shade that in okay let's go on to the chest here back to my sketchy style of uh, shading there will be a hollow right here in the middle of the chest so I'm just um, keeping this edge a little bit sharper but then adding a gradient to go a little bit lighter as I go down the chest maybe make this a little bit darker just to kind of match the dark tones here and on the branch and maybe add a little bit of texture here to the arm and I'm just using short squiggly lines here and that just kind of helps to show that the, sur the surface of the arm and say the leg, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the leg a little bit here isn't smooth these are these do have some texture so here I'm actually switching over to some small circles But we'll get back to that. I'm just going to continue on with the belly and add some mid tones. Of course, I'm not, I need to add some value here as well to the fingers just to show that they do have some form, they have some mass to it, mass to them and here's the right arm we've got a cast shadow right underneath the chest so I'm gonna make that fairly dark and then slowly lift up on the pressure to get some lighter mid-tones onto the fingers and just like those fingers I'll just add some shadows here just to show that it's not just flat and perhaps outline it a little bit clearer and this is the leg give it a little bit of a darker tone and again here's our toes I'm just gonna outline this and give it some value alright so now let's go back to the leg so we've got the belly here and it's kind of getting farther back so I'm gonna make the edge here a little bit darker and continue that dark tone up here to the chest just so there's some continuity and this part here of course will be super dark just because uh, we've got some cast shadow underneath that belly as well we'll have the same kind of thing going on with the shadow casting on this part of this leg from this up upper leg alright so just add some mid tones here so it doesn't look so flat and same thing I'm gonna just add some darker tones on the lower part of each of these legs each of these sections of the legs I should say okay alright so here's the left leg left rear leg hind leg so we'll have some shadow here coming from the leg um, this leg itself will be a little bit darker on this side 
maybe add more shadow here and this belly part here this the back section here with the design will continue back here so I'm just gonna add some squiggly lines here for those tones maybe a little bit darker and work on the upper left rear leg now adding some value and finally the lower part of the left leg where the toes are attached add some shade here some shadows and up here so I'm adding some darker tones uh, around the leg here just to separate it from the fingers that are right here plus to help bring it push it uh, back backwards towards the paper and away from us and work on these toes all right see how this is kinda very clear because I had a narrow I had a sharp pencil for that I just sharpened my pencil and I'm just gonna go back for some of these other areas just to clarify things a little bit better especially the parts that are more forward like this uh, finger right there what I will do is just leave uh, these edges a little bit uh, more blurred uh, from my dull pencil earlier and that just helps to bring uh, like I said push those areas further back and actually what I'm gonna do is I'll just use my finger to kind of blur these back areas a little bit as well while keeping the front like at the face um, a little bit sharper so there you go this was a red-eyed tree frog in pencil I hope you enjoyed this video if so please like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye